And secondly, uh, new this week on Sky Atlantic was an adaptation, not an adaptation, sorry, a new drama. Uh, the executive producers are Martin Scorsese, who was also directing the first episode, and Mick Rolling Stone Jagger. This was Vinyl. Uh, Luke and Matt, you both saw this. What were your thoughts? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, put, I put my hands up. Luke? I put my hands up. Put your put hands, hands up. <laughs> in a very rock and roll way. I really, really struggled, and I didn't do the last half hour. But it was I two just, hours. Yeah, I mean, it so you, what you're saying is you did a Gary. Yes, but I think even <laughs> if Gary had done a Gary on this, I think I wouldn't have minded. Mm. I did even more of a it, Gary. I didn't even watch it. That is classic, Gary. That is classic. The first episode was a feature-length episode. Oh, God, it was long. <laughs> feature-length as in a longer than most films. I think it, yeah. it was just under two hours. I thought yeah. it was going to be two hours with ads, so, you know, like 90 minutes. No, no but... ads. It's HBO. Yeah, yeah. Well, when Gary said it was two hours last week, I assumed he meant two hours Sky Atlantic, no. two hours. But no, that, there is no ads on HBO. And when I was like, oh, <laughs> hour and 55 minutes, yeah. Stars Bobby Carnavale. Um, who we Bob, like. Let's who we like. Our... As yeah. uh, Richie, who's the head of American Century Record Company. And mm-hmm. it basically, it's, it's one of Luke's favourite narrative things ever. It starts at him going to a gig, being in a car, coming out, and then it flashes back five days uh, in the yeah, past. Yeah. And was there a voiceover as well, just to really... And then it, it flashes was, back further yeah. in the past as well to see how he became a record producer yeah, and him is, producing... It, it's a, a time sort of, travel piece, brilliant. Him, I'll watch him, it. Pro- him producing this guy who wants to be a blues singer, but they only want him to sing like the twist and things like that. That, like for, me was the, that for me was the bit where um, it lost me a little bit, this sort of flashback to his becoming this record producer boss and maybe losing some of his love of music in the process. We learn that he's a recovering addict, that um, he, <sighs> he's, he there's some stuff with the Germans, like the company's being bought out by the Germans. Yeah. Uh, they're using the publishing rights to Led Zeppelin's stuff. Uh, and a DJ is having a fight with Donny Osmond, and they represent Donny Osmond. So it's very of the 70s. Obviously, I know I mention this every week, but I'll mention it again in case anyone's new. I lived in the States, so I know how network TV v- works versus, you know, cable. HBO and cable. They literally can't say damn on network TV mm. after 10 o'clock midnight. So it's like everything they can't do, they yeah, just no, do. Yeah, I know what you mean. I was thinking that. Yeah. And but you were looking forward that. to seeing Ray Romano sm- snorting, snorting, snorting wa- cocaine <laughs> off, a re- off a record. I was, but it just all the language got me down. Yeah. I thought Robert Plant and all the Led Zeppelin stuff was terrible. Yeah. I, I just There was I two things know. I liked. Firstly, Bobby Carnavale, who I thought did try his best with this. Yes, although I think he gave up at the same point <laughs> I did. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and um, also, I quite like the storyline involving Juno Temple, who played the sandwich girl who got this tape from this band. Uh, I can't remember the See, name. I liked her as well, yeah. because she was the only thing in it, or the only character in it that you actually could root for yeah. and feel any sympathy towards. But then she, she then had... she ended up sleeping with the lead singer of the group, and you're like... I know, mm-hmm. I know. It's James Jagger as well, so there's a bit yeah. of nepotism going on. I, I, I would don't... say as well, though, going back to your point about the swearing and all that, it's written by Terence Winter, who, with Martin Scorsese, did The Wolf of Wall Street, which I absolutely yeah. hated. And, and yes. it, it, I, ha- it I've does, decided, it does, I've decided not to watch that because it of does what people sma- have said. It does sort of smack of that a bit to me, that sort of excess that's in The Wolf of Wall Street runs throughout this. But the thing is that they're saying that this is a failing record company and yet all these people are still doing all the drugs, all the yeah. stuff. And and there's some actors in here that I, Olivia Wilde, for example, who I think is an excellent actress, yeah. is wasted in the in the world. Well, well, she's not wasted because she's what a recovering addict as well. <laughs> yeah. She's about uh, the only one not wasted no, no, in no. it. Well, her and Bobby Cotton of are both sort of recovering addicts. She plays his wife and there's a little yeah. hint that they might do something with her character. But it's like, you know, you've got two hours Give us yeah. something else. You could do it all in two hours. And, and Katrine, fair, from Bulgan, yeah. Katrine from Bulgan pops up and says, oh, how are you? I haven't seen you in a while. And then disappears again. So neither yeah. of you will probably be continuing this. Luke probably no, not. Because... God, no, no, I honestly well, couldn't. I, I, I honestly no, no, couldn't. no, hang on, hang on, hang on. I, don't, if, I might just give it one more go because... Mm. This, to see what, what it's like noise? in its in its sort of in its normal form. form. Do, do, yeah. do you know? Do you know what I used to do? This this might sound a bit weird, but whenever you watch <laughs> pilots, and I've watched a lot of pilots, yeah. <clears throat> sometimes you would watch the opening credits to the first proper episode, 
just to see what they did. Because you sometimes get a feel for the st- tempo and the the style of the show, even from yeah. just the new opening credits or what I appreciate doing. what you mean, but HBO is a bit different. Yeah, then. I know HBO is a bit different. I'm just saying in, in, in pilot yeah. world, you know, I would tend to watch even just five minutes of the next episode just Comparing to see. Comparing this to some of the other programs we're going to talk about this week, there's no, you know, there's, there's no not need even for, not in I the think, league. What, I think generally what, what turned me off this was as one we said, like the content, the swearing, the drug taking, mm. the drinking, I mean, as that said, I don't know if you've got that far because obviously in the start we see him with the the card with the homicides. Well, there's also a stuff. murder in this. Yeah, yeah. Like, did you get that far? Kind of, yeah, I'm like, murdered. It was yeah, the, it so was like, DJ. Pick... It was the radio yeah. DJ who got murdered. There's this whole scene where the the DJ's there with a gun and he's and it's just it's all confused. And there's yeah. a there's a room where there's just an orgy going on and Bobby Carnavale yeah. just sort of walks through the orgy to talk to this guy. Oh, and yeah. So there's, there's that. And there's just a sense of it not being disciplined. And I, I'm going back now to when we went to Edinburgh and yeah. Nicola Schindler was talking to the guy you from HBO. through an orgy. What? She was talking <laughs> to the guy from HBO and he, she yeah. was saying, how do you give Martin Scorsese notes? And I, 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 I went back to that because I was thinking... He obviously hasn't. He's obviously he gone. Didn't give him Martin anything. Martin Scorsese he knows what he's doing. Terence Winter knows what he's doing. Let them get on with it. And what we've got yeah. is just a bit of a mess, really. I think in there, there's a really good story. I mean, there's <laughs> interesting <laughs> characters. I like, as I say, Bobby Carnavale and Juno Temple, those two and their characters, they could but have there had will quite be a people, There will be people who will watch this purely because of those things you just mentioned, because mm, they, they are fed up with network television you know that doesn't do that but so there will be people that because to... the wolf of wall street was an extremely popular film whether you but, like it or not but you don't need to I, as i said like we look yeah. at the good wife and that's an example of how to do yeah. a really good network tv i'm sure you know, without like without trying too yeah. hard which yeah. is what this did 